Hello everybody, AJ Ryzik here, and today we're going to look at Focus Writer. Now, if you're not familiar with this program, this is a writing application that is designed to be distraction free. Now, unlike a lot of the other distraction free uh, uh, writing applications out there, uh, there's actually some features here. You know, a lot of the other ones that are out there, they're nothing more than uh, than glorified text editors. You actually do have some useful features here. Um, and let me start by, I'll, I'll drag over, uh, I got their web page open right here. Talks a little bit about the uh, about the application. And first thing you're gonna notice, um, you know, you've got uh, your, your multi-platform here. So whether you're Linux, Windows, Mac, doesn't matter, uh, you can use this application. Um, and just a little bit about it. it says focus writing simple distraction free writing environment uses utilizes the hideaway interface that you can access by moving your mouse so basically it's an intelligent hide um, let's see where was I uh, uh, still gives you some uh, some features while uh, getting f stuff out of the way so you can get your work done available Linux Windows and Mac OX and you see you're saving in text, RTF, and ODF or ODT formats. You've got timers and alarms. You can set goals, um, some customizable themes, which I was playing around with that. Pretty cool there. Um, typewriter sound effects if you want to set those up. I've uh, got an autosave you can set up, spell check. And this is one of the things here that I kind of like I was talking about is that you actually have some, some useful features. Um, now granted a lot of people when they get done writing with this they're going to go and they will export the file into I don't know, Scribner or, uh, or you know LibreOffice, Microsoft Office which all have much better more powerful um, spell checking and grammar editors and all that kind of stuff however for just you know a basic spell checker here nice feature to have anyway multi-document support uh, you can do sessions you can set up for a portable mode it's translated in over 20 languages and like I said multi-platform so whatever you're on uh, you can use the application so let's go and I'm going to drag focus rider over here and uh, I'll taking a little tour of focus rider all right so here we are with the default look of focus rider and as you can see a blank page and just a, a simulated wood background and you know the point is pretty simple you just start typing right here and type away no distractions here you see they've as as uh, it's set up now it's filling the whole screen you can go and hit the F11 button and uh, yeah there it is. I was already in windowed mode but anyway you can do a windowed mode um, by F11 and then go back to full screen by hitting F11 again boom there you go and as you can see by bringing my mouse to the top of the screen you get your menu and uh, toolbar that drops down but uh, you know the whole point here is to be distraction free and just sit here and type away just as if you had a pad of paper sitting in front of you you know um, nice quiet writing environment um, and just kind of going through the uh, all of our options up here we've got your basic uh, saving opening documents that sort of thing undo something you just did redo it um, some copy and paste functions also got a find and replace which is uh, you know that's a nice editing function to have uh, and as I mentioned if you come up here to yeah it's in toolbar in the tools um, you got a spell check and then from here you can set a timer for you know however long that you want to time yourself you know say I want to write for an hour boom set that up and uh, what else we got here? Uh, you can set your language from here. Some smart quotes there. And uh, we've got a few settings right in here in the in the settings menu. Uh, focus text. Um, you can turn it off. One line, three line, paragraph. However you want to work that. 
And then the themes I thought was pretty neat. Let me click on there. You've got some default themes. And uh, of course, right here it shows you the writing desk, which is the default. Go to this uh, Space Dreams, Gentle Blues, and then Old School right here. Or you can create your own. You can make some custom ones up right here. Real easy to do. Just click the new. And uh, we'll just call this versus theme. And I like, I've always liked the Ubuntu font. Um, color's fine. That's all that's fine. And we'll go and we'll add an image for our background. Go to my pictures folder. Let's grab that one from Carter Caves. Click OK. And there we go. As far as other settings, if you come here to settings and go down to preferences, a uh, whole bunch of preferences that you can set. Here's where you can set that typewriter sound. And uh, let me close that so you can hear it. I don't know that that's really my thing, but, uh, you know, it is pretty cool. Anyway, um, a couple other general settings there. You can set some, some goals there for... Uh, minutes or based on words uh, you can do a little statistics right there on whether you want to keep track of word count page count you know all that kind of stuff uh, some settings for your spell checking there and here you can configure your toolbar and you know I already kind of looked at you know what we had as far as toolbar um, by default but uh, there's other editing options that you can add um, depending on what you're writing, you may want to want to add, uh, you know, some alignment settings. Um, you know, find next, find previous, uh, a print button, all that kind of stuff. And then you can set some shortcuts here too. And then uh, we talked about uh, saving in various formats before, but just come over here to file and you can do a save you can do a save as and uh, you know I already started saving this is called title and made it an ODT um, which is you know that's my preferred format but uh, you can also do rich text you can do plain text uh, office uh, XML however you want to do that and uh, you know, having said all that, I'll, and then uh, you got a drop-down menu for uh, uh, you know a lot of the stuff that you could put into the uh, into the toolbar, such as the you know as we talked about the align center, align left, justification, that sort of thing. Now, um, I know this review hasn't been real long, but there's not a lot of features here to look at. At the same time, that's kind of the point of Focus Writer is that there's not a lot of stuff to play around with. You just sit down and get your writing done. Uh, and, you know, I can tell you from my personal experience of writing novels, writing magazine articles, all that kind of stuff, uh, the biggest thing that slows me down is the distractions. Um, now, part of it is you know getting emails and and you know notifications for the uh, from my uh, phone and uh, you know text messages and and all that kind of stuff so I mean this really doesn't fix that but it does free you of the distractions of you know other stuff on your uh, on your computer while you're writing uh, now me personally when I sit down to do my writing um, Depending on what I'm working on, a lot of times I go and the the phone gets shut to silent. Um, you know, I you know I don't want my email program open. I, you know, just be able to focus on my writing. Now, uh, a lot of times when I am doing my uh, uh, 
I'm, I'm writing stuff and I often have to have research materials open at the same time so you know I've got Chrome open and you know maybe a dozen different windows those sorts of times and yeah I've, I'm going to have distractions because I'm going back and forth from what I'm writing to my reference materials however when I'm doing the creative typewriting when it is say an editorial or it is uh, you know a lot of my blog posts and especially when I am doing my novel writing and uh, and Alex switches into creative mode um, you know I don't want the distractions um, although personally when I you know and, and you know a lot of people I know uh, you know they do every bit of their writing on the on the keyboard uh, I tend to sit down with a pad of paper and my initial rough draft for uh, for my creative writing is uh, is longhand because I, I, I don't know why I can think better that way and a big part of it may be the distraction free of you know the computers not even turned on um, but yeah, you know, that's how I get uh, that's how I get that first rough draft done. But anyway, this kind of kind of simulates that uh, that that kind of behavior. You know, the no distractions and that sort of thing. Anyway, this about finishes up the review. Gives a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and uh, be sure to leave comments, questions, all that kind of stuff down below. If you are not a subscriber, please subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks a lot.